Yeah. Hey. I work hard every motherfucking day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. What is up, guys? It's Homie Night Master back again with another YouTube video. And on today, boys, we are here for the second part of the first part of this video. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we, we talked about my top five anime females for Jump Force. Now, now let's get into the part that most people want to hear. Want to hear my opinion for it. What I'm thinking. Y'all know we, we love the girls and, and male and female protagonists don't get enough love in the community. That's why I love them. I do. If baby girl can throw hands and she's keeping up with the main males in the series, she is worthy of a spot in this game. So, I, okay. Before I begin to this, Soccer is not on my top five because I, I got a really strong feeling that she's going to be in the game. Like, it will make sense to have all the members of Team 7 in the game. You already got, you got, Rene, you got Shari, Renegade, and Sasuke from the Great Ninja War in the game. You got Naruto from the Great Ninja War with Sage and Six Basmo and stuff like that in the game. Why not put Sakura, like Cherry Blossom Sakura, or put her in her Great Ninja War outfit to, to like, complete Team 7? Don't put Kakashi. You can you can bring Madara. We need we need an antagonist for the series. Stuff like that. Like it will make sense. I'm pretty sure the story's gonna have like some dope stuff. I will be playing that on the channel. You guys know what I'm saying when it comes out. But just put my girl Sakura in the game. If you don't put Sakura in the game, put Hinata in the game. Like one of the two needs to make it into the video game. If, if not both, one of the two needs to make it into the video game. But all right, boys, you're gonna get into my top five male anime characters I want to see in Jump Force or any like anime brawl game. But we, we're talking about Jump Force right now, and uh, disclaimer, these characters, most of these characters aren't even shown in, and uh, yeah, man, that's, that's honestly, like, it's just anime characters from, like, all anime, and, like, most of these characters won't even make it into the game. Some of them should make it into the game, and I think it'll be a hit or miss if they don't get into the game, but eh, it, it is what it is. But alright, boys, for my number five spot, I love this anime to death. I haven't talked about it on the channel because, like... It, it, it is one of those animes you just like it's hit or miss you can I right, you talk about this anime you might get banned bro but uh <laughs> well I can't show anything of this anime but my boy for number five for like the shits and giggles because he's like my seventh my second favorite anime character of all time I would want to see my boy Issei Hiyoto from high school DXD in Jump Force have not seen high school DXD to it because my, my niggas, if, if you if you avoid watching this video, you might like high school DXD if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> that's, that's getting away from the video. But my boy Issei, I feel like he'll be a very like diverse character for the game and stuff like that. And with and with him having uh the red dragon emperor Drake and or Drago inside of him and stuff like that, with his booster gear on his left arm. I think it will be pretty dope. Well, obviously, you need boosted gear, Issei, in the game, obviously. Like, he, he could probably, like, start off in, like, his base state. And then, like, when he transitions for his intro and stuff like that, he, like, transforms into his boosted gear and stuff like that. And his awakening could be, like, the Rose mode boosted gear that happens in Season 4 and, like, the final fight and stuff like that of, of High School Dixie Hero. Like, that shit is clean. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you. you guys have seen it that that rose mode for my boy Issei because he's like resembling he's resembling uh was it he resembles the colors of the one he's love the one he loves aka best girl aka Riaz like she's bro she's thick dude like <laughs> like who wouldn't be in love with this look at her like <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry what are right, boys oh snap somebody I said something about my stories. Like I don't know. Look at that Instagram. But all right, boys, let's get to my number four for Jump Force. And all right, boys, we are here for my number four pick for, for Jump Force. And it has to be for my... Fair Academia is a very widely known show in the West. It, most This is probably most, like, new anime fans. This is, like, new anime just because, like, the sheer fact of how good it is. The animation... The styles, the fights, the plot, the dub and sub are pretty good from what I hear. I watch it sub because I just, like, when I hear Christopher Savage play All Might, I'm like, dude, that's fucking Piccolo. Like, he is Piccolo. You you can't be anybody else. You're Piccolo. That's who I know you as. Like, 
<laughs> like, I'm sorry, Dragon Ball Z is like, like, it's for my childhood, and that's who he plays. Like, he plays Piccolo. He's, he's really known for Vegeta, but when you hear his natural talking voice, he sounds dead ass, like, just like Piccolo. I'm like, yo, that's fucking Piccolo. Like, if I ever meet this man, I'm like, I'm not calling you Christopher Sabbath. I'm not calling you Vegeta. I'm calling him, like, hey, my nigga Piccolo was good. But, hey, I want to see my boy Midoriya in the game because they have not been announced. And I honestly do feel like if they're not on the main roster of the game, they will be DLC in the game. Like, like there has to be, like, if Midoriya makes it in the game, not to the 10, my boy All Might is going to make it into the game. Like, that, that's, how, that's how I see it. And speaking of, like, new Shonen anime, my number three four characters I would want to see in Jump Force is my man Asta. From Black Clover. I have Asta over Midoriya in like when it comes to two. It's not that because I like Black Clover more than my hero. I like my hero less and stuff like that. It's just because my boy Asta has a Remore, he has a sword, and my nigga is a demon. <laughs> like if you guys haven't seen that recent episode of Black Clover, pause this, open a new tab, crusherroll.com slash Get it yourself, nigga, because I don't have a code. So. <laughs> Alright, that was unprofessional. But you, you guys know, go to Crunchyroll, hit it up, VRV, whatever. Like, just watch it. That shit's about to get intense, my dude. My boy Asta, he about to get real thick. But that's my number three on the list. And coming in at number two is a very, very hype character, just like Asta. But my boy is, like, he don't got swords. He got a demon, but he's literally a demon, but he don't got swords. That'd be my boy Miliotis from Seven Deadly Sins. You guys know the Netflix original series. Switch from Japan, like Japan, but Netflix calls everything in the original series. But my, you get the point. Seven Deadly Sins is a dope ass anime. If you guys haven't seen it, I do recommend anywhere. It's it's a pretty good damn show. And actually, the, Seven Deadly Sins is a shonen. It's like, it, it is in the shonen category and stuff like that. So, Emiliotis could have a chance to be in the game. Like, as like some, some spread off DLC. And if he was in the game, I would prop. I don't know. He could probably make it onto, my, onto like my main team and stuff like that. Because he's one of, he's, he's a pretty dope ass character. And like, especially when he gets like his, uh, in season three. When he becomes one with himself again and he like gets all that power that he had sealed off from him, my boy becomes a straight up savage he gets kind of like kind of reminds you of goku when he goes super saiyan 4 like his whole his whole demeanor changes he gets like he becomes a cocky bastard but i mean he got the power to like back it up so that's my number two miliotis and coming in at the number one spot i am i will be highly disappointed if this character does not make it into the game just because of like its final season coming out this year and like it's like like I don't understand why like this anime is so damn good and I feel like a lot of people know about it but it doesn't get enough attention and stuff and people want to talk about it and I get a fit and I'm just like bruh that happens in every shonen the power of friendship makes everybody boost like get a power off it and it gets criticized for that a lot and I honest I don't really see why because I'm just like bro you watch Naruto you've seen Dragon Ball Z my nigga Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, Yugi, when shit was going wrong and somebody was sharing Yugi on, Heart of the Cards! He made that shit happen, my nigga, and he would never lose. Like, you, it, don't, it doesn't matter how tough, like, you got, he got back down and stuff like that. You knew Yu-Gi-Oh! was winning that goddamn duel. It didn't matter. You knew he was going to win. Especially with the power of friendship. When you, when you got my nigga Kiba and everybody else yelling in the background. Like, you knew Yugi was going to win. But, boys, my number one spot is held by... Natsu of the Fairy Tale Guild from the anime Fairy Tale. My boy's a savage. He should be in the game with the fire tactics and shit like that. Oh my god. Now let me get me started with his awakening. The Dragon Slayer Natsu. My, my nigga. Did, did you see that? Like, that is pure savagery. He's like, he got like dragon in him. Blah, blah. And then even not to like if they were to add not to in the game I wouldn't want them to add like day one not to I would want them to add like not to from the point where like he, he actually did get his awakening and shit like that But or it would have to be not to with his new fit I do like his last season outfit more than his like his first season outfit. It's not there's not really that much of a difference You just like there's just you see like there. This is a more mature not to it's kind of like part one Naruto part two Naruto or like you got Part 2 Naruto and Hokage Naruto. Like, 
th that's Hokage Natsu. Like, you know, my boy's been through some things, has them experiences, and he's just like, yo, time to man up. If Lucy starts screaming, I gotta be that nigga to step in and burn a bitch. It's like, you feel me? <laughs> All right, y'all, so this is me from a couple days later. Obviously, that video was recorded like two days ago, and this is me now. I have on different clothes, different shirt. You guys know what I'm saying? We're here. But, boys, I have to add on something to my top five anime uh, males I want to see in Jump Force. So, apparently, the man Yonko Productions on Twitter has leaked that Asta is confirmed for Jump Force. Well, I haven't really like seen anything from this uh, man in the past or anything like that, but from from everyone I've like talked to and stuff like that, he is a very reliable source and he tends to get things earlier before they actually come out in like publicly and stuff like that. So Asta, if he is in the in the next V Jump scan, I will make a video on that. And you guys know I, I like the boy Asta. He was obviously in my top five. I, I'm currently keeping up with Black Clover. I read the manga, all the stuff. I'm a fan of the series. So I think it's necessary for me to talk about this. I have to add this part to the video. But boys, if you go down to my Twitter, I did retweet it. And you guys can just click on the tweet and look at the tweet and like follow Yonko Productions on Twitter. But that is all, my boys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We almost hit 2,000 subscribers. If you guys want more Jump Force content, drop a like. Say yes in the comments. Say put like, I don't know, put type, just type Jump Force in the comments. If you guys want me to do more like informational videos for Jump Force, more or B jump scans, or anything, because I will be playthroughing the game. Like when it comes out, I will do the entire story mode. I won't just be that person that only does online. I'm gonna play the story because I know there's gonna be one, and hopefully it's a banger ass story because all these characters are in this game, and I, I hope somehow, some way, it makes sense. But I'm gonna see you guys later. Peace out.